one of the best things I've ever seen in my entire life. And I want all of you guys to watch this. Big it up, the Fire and the Kids subreddit. This clip is genius. Fuck, look at this. I would <laughs> fuck <laughs> him up, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would fuck. Look, look at him. Look at him. Bro, I would fuck him up. I would be leg kicking him right now. Wap. Wap. I'd take them knees out. Oh, that what a shitty body kick. Wow. And he, he, fights like, he fights like Brendan Schaub a little bit. But all he did is throw him. <laughs> Brendan Schaub was a good fighter. I'm kidding. You I'm shut kidding. Your mouth. He knocked out Mirko Kroko. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love him. So look at this. He's right next to you and he's not even biting you. This, yeah, yeah. This is the biggest pussy lizard of all time. He's not even biting. Yeah. Yo, big up Bobby Lee. Big up fucking Bobby Lee. Big up Bobby fucking Lee. Oh my God. That guy fights like Brendan Schaub. <laughs> Honestly, that was brilliant. The way Bro Rogan jumped in there to protect Bro Brendan was kind of nice. This also maybe is a indication of maybe Brendan told Rogan about his baby because there was a weird period in that fight companion where Rogan was like, "I need to go to the toilet," and he said to Brendan, "Yeah, you need to go to the toilet too, right?" Entertaining as an average UFC event, three-hour block. Can you do that with jujitsu? Can you do that with jujitsu? Can you do that with jujitsu? You guys gonna piss together? Hey, don't you have to piss? Yes, I do, Joe. Okay, okay. Tell me what's up. Oh, Joey, how you doing? I'm alive and kicking, brother. Okay. Watching these two guys going to piss together makes me sad. <laughs> and they both left together. People are like, oh, they're probably going to do drugs. I don't think so. Most likely they went to have a conversation, right? So again, we're just guessing here. But most likely what Brendan what told Brogan then about his kid's health status at the time. I don't think I've loved another man ever in my life outside of my dad. And, and and a couple of uncles as much as Brendan loves fucking Rogan. That guy loves Rogan probably maybe more than his own father. That's fucking wild. Can you imagine traveling across the country to go to the, see Rogan, not canceling it because you want to tell him that your kid's ill? <laughs> wild. But big up Bobby Lee, one absolute legend. Love that fucking joke. Let's play it one more fucking time because he's a G. Fuck, look at this. I would <laughs> fuck him up, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would fuck. Look how look slow at, look he at him. is. Bro, I would fuck him up. I would be leg kicking him right now. Wap. Wap. I'd take them knees out. Oh, that what a shitty body kick. Wow. And he, he, fights like, he fights like Brendan Schaub a little bit. But all he did is throw <laughs> him. Pick up NJ Ranger. <laughs> I know you remember these kinds of JRE moments. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Of course. Come on, NJ. You know. You know our God. You know. You know, <laughs> Brendan Schaub was a good fighter. I'm kidding. You better I'm shut kidding. Your mouth. He knocked out Mirko Kroko. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love him. So look at this. He's <laughs> right next to you, and he's not even biting you. This, yeah, yeah. This is the biggest pussy lizard of all time. He's not even biting. Yeah. Don't you find it funny that Rogan is defending Brendan like this about his fighting when he was the guy that made him quit? <laughs> Don't you find that funny? Didn't you make him quit? Didn't you tell him that he had no chance of being a champion? Didn't you tell him that, um, who's who's that guy? Who, who's that guy? Cain Velasquez, right? Didn't you tell him that Cain Velasquez would fuck him up? I think Cain would fuck you up, actually. Do you know what I mean? Like, didn't you tell him to, like, give up on fighting? Give up on your dream of becoming a fighter? Pursue comedy because you're not good at... Because that must have been a really... We have to give, um, we have to give Brendan some credit. Can you imagine? Because of Rogan's fucking stature in UFC. Can you imagine Rogan at that time telling another fighter to quit and how that would have been received live on air? Maybe it, maybe it helped because Brendan was already one foot out, but that would have like, that would have broken most people, <laughs> right? This guy that's like synonymous, this guy that's like, you know, a part of the UFC history, right? He is, a, he is as important to that whole brand as anybody else's. Whether or not you like his commentary or not, telling you live on air, hey, give up on your dream. Give up on your dream. You are terrible at it. You are really bad. In front of millions of people. Youch. But yeah, big up Bobby Lee. Um, from what I've been able to see online so far, everyone is saying that the appearance was pretty good from Bobby Lee. But you could tell he was getting really angsty because Brent Rogan isn't the same Rogan that I guess he knew when he was coming up. This Rogan now is like obsessed with talking about culture war stuff, political stuff. You know, he, he loves getting duped. I wonder if that's the thing about age because Rogan gets duped so often about random Facebook posts and shit. You know the stuff, the science stuff that your mum would send you? Rogan gets duped by that so often. I wonder if that's an age thing. 
he can't seem to tell when stuff is satire when stuff is a uh, you know clearly made up like just straight up made up not even trying to be comedic he just can't tell like <laughs> he gets duped so much so bobby is having a hard time trying to hang with that because you know he's not a political guy anyway or cultural war guy um he likes just to you know he likes to be a comedian on, on the podcast shock horror right stand-up comedian likes to fuck around but rogan tries to keep making it serious so i need to watch it but um everyone is saying that bobby lee does try to make it quite silly but rogan just you know keeps steamrolling him into talking about trans bathrooms and <laughs> and shit it's like bro come on man leave me alone anyway chin to you let's go into chin to you shit